Hello and welcome my beautiful friends. I hope you're doing amazing and you brought some hunger because I am giving you two recipes today and these are whole food meat substitutes. I don't really like meat substitutes but because this is made out of like soy chunks and soy little chunks, crispies, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you can soak them in water and then they get this little like munchy consistency and the little thingies are amazing to do like a bolognese sauce with them. But we're gonna make something more creative today. So yeah, the first recipe is made out of the bigger soy chunks and it's the first time I actually tried it and it turned out amazing. So yeah, let's get right ahead into the recipe. I'm so excited to share this with you. For the pita, we need to soak the soy chunks in water. Therefore, I'm mixing one slice of beetroot, half a teaspoon pepper, half a teaspoon onion powder, a little bit of turmeric, one teaspoon veggie stock, one teaspoon of sweetener of your choice, and 500 milliliters of water. And then I just blended it until I got this beetroot water. Now take three handful of soy chunks and put them in a bowl together with the beetroot water. Make sure that everything is covered, so just stir it around a bit and I let it soak for 30 to 40 minutes. In the pan, pour in some oil, heat it up, then add the chunks in it and fry it until you get a little bit of browning. Dust them with some starch and then add a splash of agave syrup. Now turn down the heat a little bit and spoon in some of the beetroot water until you get a really sticky consistency. Like add one teaspoon and stir it around, add another teaspoon or tablespoon and you go like that until you feel it's ready and you just get this really sticky coating. Sprinkle some sesame seeds on top and you're ready to serve. I put mine in a pita bread together with hummus, lettuce, chickpeas and cucumber. Enjoy guys! Now on to the second recipe, the stuffed bell pepper. For the stuffing, I take the dried small soy protein pieces, put them in a pan together with a splash of water, one teaspoon veggie stock, half a teaspoon onion powder, a little pepper and a little turmeric and stir it around. I'm also adding a clove of garlic and the piece of chopped ginger together with one teaspoon mustard and a teaspoon of paprika puree. For some extra crunch, I added one handful of crushed walnuts. And a splash of tomato sauce. Now let this simmer for about two minutes. And while this is cooking, you can cut the top of your bell pepper off and remove the inside. Now fill the stuffing into your bell pepper and bake this for around 20 minutes on 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. 
I served this with rice, some extra tomato sauce and spring onions. All right, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun creating it and also eating it because it's so different from the usual things I eat. And yeah, let me know if you are gonna try them, if you have tried it, if you already made other delicious dishes out of these soy-based products. I'm really curious, curious to hear. And yeah, let me know down below in the comments if you want me to create some other recipes if you want me to experience or experiment with some other products and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time here on my channel love you guys Bye.